watching you. Yeah. Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. Yeah, good morning. Um, we're gonna have a different one today, it's a chatty one. A much requested video asking for details or to share about how we vlog. So we thought we would chat today about why we started vlogging, how we vlog, what we use, what we edit on, uh, we've got various bits to show you. We're out on a walk and we thought it would be the perfect time just to chat about it and share any tips and that that we yeah. can. So we thought whilst we're actually vlogging, it was the best time to actually do it as well. So just join us whilst we're walking yep. and we'll, um, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll show you and share bits and pieces as we go. Whilst, rather than just sat on a sofa, we thought it would be actually fun to do it whilst we vlog. Yeah. So I really hope you enjoy this. Let us know if you're a vlogger, would you like to start vlogging? Is it something you've dabbled with? Or do you kind of vlog, but it's something that you struggle with certain elements? Let us know. Any questions, please leave them below. I think it's also worth saying there's lots and lots of different elements on things. I'm sure we'll touch on this. We started this for our own personal use. And I know a lot of people do for like family, friends to look at, that's something, and to yeah, keep memories. Exactly. So it didn't matter what we did. Um, um, and so it's just a case of it was for our memory. So it could be that just interests you as well. But yeah, we'll hopefully cover everything for you today. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to our channel if you don't already. And um, hopefully we can help you today. So the reason we started vlogging, we'll just do this really quickly. Um, the reason we started was because I was I already had a YouTube channel for my business I was filming for my business and then I started doing some vlogs as well um, I was a scrapbooker so I've been telling the stories of our holidays for years and years and years and then I also used to write trip reports um, there's a like a message forum um, and an information website for people from mainly from the UK traveling over to the States most of its Disney and you would like write up almost like a, a journal of your holiday um, each day and post it on there and share photos and tips so I used to do that as well so the natural progression then seeing as I was doing YouTube anyway was to start vlogging and it was almost like a digital way of me scrapbooking our trips it started off just to share sort of amongst family and friends for us to watch really yeah for it? us to, to watch back on almost like her digital photo <laughs> photos of our trip and then we ended up started sharing it with others and we built up a little bit of a community on it was all yeah. on my other channel and um yeah and we started our first trip we vlogged was 2017 yeah pro properly well yeah, it yeah. Was the first one yeah we did vlog yeah yeah and it just went on from there really and it's just progressed and then it got to covid aid had been banging on for ages about us <laughs> starting a channel just for our trips back well, then as well travel. yeah travel <laughs> I was gonna say back then it wasn't just Disney we did used to do other travel um, which we plan to do again now we've got a new trip coming up where we are going somewhere other than Disney um, on the other channel there's we got a few road trips on there as yeah, well we so have. there's stuff we've done before this channel so and we watch them back we watch like all the memories with the kids it's, it's just so, nice. so so nice so if you are thinking about vlogging just do it we ne I nearly vlogged our 2016 trip we did an American road trip didn't we mm. it started in New York we drove to DC we then drove through Virginia Tennessee um, where else did we drive Kentucky and we ended up in Indiana and I was so close to vlogging and I didn't, I didn't have a proper vlogging camera. I had the equivalent of what I'm using now, but it didn't have the flip there screen. There really the vlogging cameras out, were there? No, not as much like there are now. And I didn't do it. I chickened out and I re I've always, always regretted it. So don't let that be your regret. If you want to do it, just start. It doesn't matter what you've got. We'll talk more about what we use in a moment, but don't let that hold you back. And the other thing as well, do just what you feel comfortable doing as well. For example, I know you said you regret it, but I think it's also a balance of the camera maybe taking over your trip yeah, as well. Yeah, that's true. Even if, even if it's for your own benefit, it could be that some family members aren't too keen on the camera being out. We know that experience very well. Yeah, with having older um, teens. So, for example, just do what works for you. And also if it means, even if you just end up looking at the videos or the photos back mm. and you haven't edited them, just do it. Yeah, put them together. Um, you've got a really good point there. For example, our teens didn't want to be in the camera, our daughter particularly, um, but we wanted to capture those memories. It's like now, she didn't want to be in any, hardly any of the photos in New York, but now she's older, recently she was asking, why am I not in any of the photos? So I think 
I'm not saying do, do it anyway, but we did it more in a respectful way. There's a lot of footage that we haven't shared in vlogs, but I filmed of conversations and things that that's for us. Um, but a lot of what I filmed back then, we filmed, vlogged in a very different style. It was almost like a fly on the wall type thing. Mm. Like conversations were going on in the background, but we wouldn't stop and, or very rarely would we talk at the camera. No, and we wouldn't necessarily talk about maybe advice or different Not as things much, like that. No. It would just be what we were doing. Yeah. So a completely different style of vlogging and then that progressed over time. And I think also just do what feels right for you. Mm. Um, everyone's different. So just do what feels comfortable as well. And practice. Practice <laughs> is the biggest thing. I think it's the one one thing I, the advice I'd give to anyone that does start is and it's something that Adam the Woo said. He actually said one of our favourite vloggers and probably one of our biggest inspiration mm. to want to, to vlog. That's true. Um, used to watch his videos all the time. I haven't done as much recently, really should do actually because we do love his vlogs, yep. um, but it, it, he was saying just practice. The thought of talking in front of a camera in public um, could be something people have no issue with, but he said it's something that, yeah, do because it just takes time. I still um, haven't got used to it, I yeah, still feel uncomfortable. And it just takes time to get used to, so just do that, yeah. practice. Disney isn't so bad because everyone's got their cameras out, but I wouldn't do this in London, for example, walking along. I, I feel really, really self-conscious. Um, so the other thing we're going to talk about is what equipment do you need to vlog? Some people just vlog on their cameras. I've got my vlogging camera here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I've had a couple now. I like the... No, actually, I started off with the Canon G7, didn't I? No. G10. Yeah, G10, but I didn't vlog on that. That was my original camera. Oh. It was the, I've used the Canons for years before vlogging days. But then I got the, it was the Canon G7 Mark II, isn't it? X Mark II or something. Is that the first vlogging one? Mm, that was my first vlogging. I think, did I have two of those or one of those? And then I went on to, what do I use now? The Sony? The Sony ZV-1. It's better for um, focusing. The Canon was terrible for that but I do actually prefer the Canon and I think actually this one is a very bouncy camera. The stabilization, even though that's on, isn't great. Sound is better on this, but out of the two. And I love the fact that um, the screen was above, this is on the side. I would choose the Canon over this. So I've actually gone onto my iPhone here so you can actually see uh, the camera here. So obviously this is the ZV-1. Now you will actually notice that it's actually got a cage what's called a cage oh, around yeah. it rig isn't it a rig well, it's actually known as a cage i okay. think but you're all rig yeah made by a company called small rig um lisa loves a strap on the camera i do because i like to wear my camera because obviously you have it around your neck you got it there is there the whole bitten it's there the whole time now the ZV-1, if I'm correct, only yeah. has one point that you can attach, a, a little hand strap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it just has. And it's a case of, well, you can't then put that around your neck. And I was trying to find a strap and things like that. And the easiest thing was, was this cage. Maybe when we get back, I'll actually just show you. But it's actually got a nice grip on it yeah, as well. Yeah, I like see being the, able to hold it. See the wooden style grip. If you also look underneath, it has the ability that you can actually take the battery out and the camera card while keeping the little Manfrotto tripod on before we had this you had to take off the the, Tri tripod. the tripod mount to be able to take the battery out the, the card. card it was such a but pain it's also little things on this one as well there's little this obviously for more people to use them there's obviously the screwing threads if you want to add other things if you want to add lights you want to add whatever else the little cage is quite i really cool. like it it is actually really good the only thing we have to be aware of the little screw thread that fixes to the camera does come loose that happened in one trip so yeah. we actually actually had to get a little bit of thread lock on it yeah because if that comes off there's nothing holding the camera in the, so go on this is what i was meaning about the screen which i don't like i you may have noticed i always look over to the side i cannot get used to focusing on the camera i always look at myself i've started to now with the lens have you? yeah whereas with the canon it's on top so it just makes it so much easier if i had to buy another camera i would go back with the canon i really would but um, yeah, that's the cameras. Well, Sony have just bought out a new one and the stabilization is supposed to be a lot better. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so it'd be interesting to know what that's like because yeah. I know a lot of people have complained about the stabilization. The actual lenses in the Sony are far better. Mm. They're made by Zeiss, 
Uh, Carl Zeiss used to make a lot of binocular lenses and camera lenses and glasses. My glasses are actually Carl Zeiss lenses. Um, so they are actually a very, very good quality lens. Um, the focus is amazing. Sounds yeah. a lot better. Yeah, I agree. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got on here as well your little um, muff. muff or dead cat. Um, we had to get that one again. That small rig that just actually clips on, doesn't it? Yeah. That, we lost one once on the Terra Terra. Yeah, the one that comes with it, we lost. So we had to buy this. Funny enough, in Orlando. So yeah. we bought two. So we had a spare. Other I way. Don't, what was it? Oh, I don't know. I'll put it back on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the camera. We'll show some of the other equipment when maybe we get home. Because my battery's just died. <laughs> and you haven't got a spare. I've put it. The spare one isn't here. We've used a whole battery. Have today. you? Wow. Yeah. See, there's some other things as well, even when we're out yes, in the parks. But I was going to say, actually, the Sony battery dies a lot quicker than the Canon batteries. Mm. I would really recommend if you want to start vlogging just to start on your phone. Don't go out buying loads of expensive cameras and equipment. Um, give it a go first and see how you feel. There's many people that do actually vlog just using their phones. Um, you can use a GoPro. There's so many other cameras that you may possibly already have. Try that first. I would hate for somebody to go and spend a lot of money on a camera and decide it's not for them. Um, I can understand that as well. Like I said, I feel really self-conscious when around and about I kind of try and pull myself aside a little bit and um, where hopefully nobody can see me but I would struggle just to walk about and vlog um, I always feel really self-conscious and um, I really admire people that it doesn't bother them like I said in Disney it does feel a little bit different because everyone's got their cameras out and loads of people do it so it's not such a big deal um, but yes definitely give it a go and practice maybe on your phone first one way I seem to be able to vlog actually when we're out and about if I'm not feeling comfortable speaking in front of the camera, I tend to walk with the camera and film and I feel totally comfortable with that. But then, like I said, I will stop and pull myself to one side where you feel that nobody can see you and then talk to the camera. I find that way works really well and I don't feel self-conscious doing that. So we hope you've enjoyed the video so far. We also wanted to discuss about like editing and things like that because that's also another question that we get, isn't it? Yes. So I use the free version iMovie. I really like it. Well, it is only free anyway, so... What's that? IMovie. No, but I meant as in iMovie is what I use. It's a free version. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. cost to it yet. No. Yeah. Um, it's really easy. I'm not a technical person, but I can use it. So um, it's very straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, it is kind of quite data hungry, definitely on the Mac. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the number of videos that you do. But yeah. yeah, the great thing, it is free. And it's not like some software where it's free, but you only get limited kind of features. It is basically with all Apple devices. Mm -hmm. I know some people edit it on their iPads. I've also known people to do it on their phones as well. I was so. going to say that. I've heard of people do it on their phones as well. So the possibilities are, 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 are great in regards to that. It, it does what it needs to do. Um, and I think anything else to add to that, I mean... We are wanting to change over though, aren't we? Yes, we have Premiere Pro, which is part of the Adobe Suite, mm. which we do actually pay for the, the suite, but we're just trying to get you to actually start to get used to it. I've edited a few of the videos. I don't do a great deal of editing, but again, it seems to be quite straightforward. Um, it's obviously, it can be a lot more involved as well. It's a mm. bit more of a um, professional type product kind of thing. Is that what more kind of YouTubers use, do you think? Yeah, I think Premiere Pro, there are some other applications as well, but I think for us, the amount of videos you're doing, mm. it just suits it. It's generally a bit sort of quicker, a bit more responsive and things like that. So but I think my biggest advice to anyone that is thinking about doing it is just start. I know so many of you have kind of like messaged and said that you've even bought the camera and all the equipment. You just need to start, just start. Even if you don't use the videos for anything other than yourself, just give it a go and have a practice. Yeah, I think you even mentioned yesterday when we were out walking about mm. the fact that you wanted to mention the fact that don't go out and spend a load mm. of money. Try it with your phone, first of all. See how you get on. Because it could be you love it, it could mm. be it's not for you. You can get a gimbal as well and put your phone on that, can't you? Yeah, and also even like a little tripod. Yeah. I've actually, have I shown my oh, one that I use? Should actually. I just go and grab yeah, that Yeah, that's quickly? a really good idea, actually. Okay, so yeah, I've just found it and I've got it here and it's actually just this little Manfrotto tripod. There are other makes as well. And this is by Manfrotto and it's just like a little clamp. So it goes on and you can just clip 
your iPhone into it. So perfect. That's really good for vlogging. And tripod as well, so you can mm -hmm. rest it down and record yourself as well. So we did get a more fancy one sent to us recently, didn't we? Yeah, we actually well, it was actually a proper gimbal, wasn't it? Yeah. So we have used that. We've tried that out. So we may well use that in the coming trip. That's more if you're moving around a bit more, isn't it? Yeah. So, but, but I uh, think if you're st we're talking more about starting vlogging today, I think this is more. Kind of like ideal, isn't it? I will always use this if we're out in the parks. It's small, it does actually just slip in the bag or even my pocket. The other thing as well, you are allowed this in the park. You're not allowed, if you're going into Disney, you're not allowed anything extendable, like an extendable tripod. This is not extendable. We've even been asked, I think we were on the Triceratops ride in Animal Kingdom, weren't we? And what did we, I think I just had my, my camera on my wrist actually. Oh, it was a strap. My, uh, uh, no, I had it on one of these and yeah. she said, is that extendable? And I said, no, it's not. And yeah. so I showed her. The other thing as well, if you're in the parks, uh, if you're going to be recording on rides, um, Disney have become a mm. bit more uh, strict about it. They're still okay for you to record, but you'll notice that when you're on certain rides, it's like Space Mountain and things like that. They will say about no loose items. Now we take the GoPro on, but it's one, it's on a handle and it actually fixes around my wrist. So if it, I was to let go, it's not going to come, it's not going to come away from me. It's a safety thing. And it's not a recording And thing. I've actually asked cast members whilst mm -hmm. there, so it's not a recording thing, it's a safety thing. I think most vloggers are actually really quite considerate. I think the people maybe that aren't are the ones that don't. <laughs> the ones that aren't sort of like yeah. general vloggers. Yeah. Well, I'll even make sure the GoPro should you have know, both screens on. If I know it's a dark ride, I'll turn both screens off. So I don't even know what I'm recording. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to ruin it for other people because you don't want to have a screen on I think or lights flashing or things like that. You'll also find as well that people that are used to vlogging, you hold the camera in front of you if you're on something as yep. well so you don't block anybody else's view. It's those people that don't vlog but want to film that hold the iPads above them and block everybody yeah, their else's view. Yeah, iPhones here or there the whole way around something and but not thinking about anyone else. It's always the vloggers that get the blame for it but you'll actually find somebody that vlogs like we do, you are so, so conscious yep. of other people so yeah. um but yeah if you are starting to vlog do be aware of other people as well by having your camera up you are blocking people behind having lights on and rides like you say so just try and be conscious as well yeah um i was going to ask how much is something like this by the way oh well the actual the actual tripod the monfrotto i mean we've probably got about two or three of these now actually because you've got one that you I use like mine, yeah. and i think i might even have a, a one which is slightly larger um that we've used before um, I think it's around about between 20 and 30 pound. And what about um, this kind of This thing? was about, I think it might have been 15, 20. Mm. The other thing as well, this can also mount the other way around as well. So you can actually have your phone going up this way. Okay. So if you're not wanting to YouTube and you're mm. wanting to do your stories or anything like that, it's it's really quite good just for that. It just makes it smoother, doesn't it? The one it? thing I like about this here as well, that it is lockable. So you, you probably can't really see, pull it apart. And it locks. Oh, oh, sprung in place. It lock in place, <laughs> but it locks the phone in place. Right. So whereas a lot of them, the springs are quite loose. But as I feel this, if I'm walking around the park, I can feel quite like I can trust it that it's got my phone and it's going to be secure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas some others, I don't. It feels like I can walk and I don't have to worry. I wouldn't take this on a ride like this. Mm. I'd just be worried I'd let yeah. go. Well, obviously you're not really I supposed agree with to. You. So. Yeah. But yeah, it, I, I do love it. Um. I was going to say, if you're starting vlogging then, you think of that compared to the price of a new camera, just to give it a practice. And the quality of mm. the iPhone, some of our clips you'll see when we're walking around are from the iPhone. Audio isn't that great. That's very true. They're, yeah, that's a big compromise. Yeah, and also with the GoPro as well, most of our, if not all of our ride footage is on the GoPro. Footage mm. can be fantastic. Again, sound can be a little bit, okay, it's not, not yeah, as good. Yeah, I agree but with that. It, we're doing this we love just doing this mm. it's not like something professional but um who knows we'll see what can be uh, done in the future of that one we hope you've enjoyed this today we hope it's encouraged you if you've been thinking about starting just to give it a go give it a practice yeah and even if it means initially you're just practicing in front of you if, well, in front of yourself yeah <laughs> it, just on your own kind of thing that's just the key thing if it's a chatty video at home yeah just just just, just do it Leave a comment below, let us know if you vlog or if you're wanting to start or if you have just started or any tips that you would pass on to anybody else that would be really good. Or any it? other questions of things we mm -hmm. may not have covered because obviously we do what we do. You may have had ideas or may do some things yourself if you've actually started out. So yeah, please just let us know. 
thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Bye.